Tributes are pouring in for Ron Taylor, who died yesterday. Ron Taylor pioneered underwater filming of sharks and shark conservation. With more, here's Tom Nightingale. With his wife and business partner Valerie, Ron Taylor spent decades filming sharks at close quarters and changing the way the animals were perceived. Recently, he told CNN about his work behind the scenes with the movie Jaws. So they flew me over to Hollywood and I spoke with Steven Spielberg and the production managers over there. And I said, you've got a bit of a problem here. You've got a 26-foot mechanical shark, but our great white sharks are only about 13 feet long. Ron Taylor was born in Sydney. As a young man, he was adept at spearfishing, but his interest in wildlife and a passion for photography saw him change to underwater filming. In interviews, he described the sense of achievement that came with getting close to a marine animal and capturing it on film. Mick Dowes is with the Australian Anti-Shark Finning Alliance. Look, Ron was pivotal in the world of marine conservation. Ron was an absolute pioneer. He was the first man to pho- photograph a great white shark um, out of a cage. Ron and Valerie, with their unique and uh, pioneering camera work, they really put sharks um, on the TVs uh, of people. They, they dispelled the myth. And they really showed people the importance of sharks in our marine ecosystems. And and that is, they're they're our apex predators. And without those apex predators, our marine ecosystem, it's a a domino effect. It just falls like a house of cards. And Ron and Valerie really put um, sharks on people's TV and they told them what they were about. They told them about the importance of sharks in our oceans. Ron Taylor died of leukaemia in hospital in Sydney yesterday. He was aged 78. Tom Nightingale.